Hi and welcome. Today we're going to talk about how you can download, compile, use the Open Radios FE solver. So Radios is an advanced, explicit finite element solver from Altair, and they recently made this open source. So it's really cool that now you have access to source code for a commercial quality explicit finite element solver, and it's actually easy to download, compile, and use. And I'm going to show you how to do that today in this video. So first. You can learn more about the Open Radios uh, application and the thinking behind it for, on this website, openradios.org. And um, I have developed software uh, that interacts with radios in the past. Our Polymer PolyUmod uh, library is available for radios. And that should also work now with the Open Radios uh, solver as well. And uh, if you're not familiar with Open Radios or radios in the past, um, it's, a, it's an advanced solver. I used it to simulate all different things uh, in the past. For example, a golf ball, as you can see here. Uh, now, what's really cool is the source code is available. It's on GitHub. For those of you who are familiar with GitHub, you can just download it and, and use it here. So on the GitHub uh, page, you can read a little bit about how this works. But I'm going to demonstrate here today how it works in real life. Uh, also, finally, before I start doing that, there is another website, helpalter.com, that have a little bit more help documentation about the radios uh, software too. So I have a window here to the right. I logged into a Linux computer. I'm going to download and install the software on this computer here. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to just grab the source code from a Git. So it's a GitHub is a Git repository. I'm just going to run the git clone command here and it will download the source code directly from the github site and it doesn't take that many seconds to download it and it's downloading the files as we're uh, waiting here and here it is i now in this directory have a, a file called open radios and that contains all the code that is uh, part of this um, uh, program uh, nick since it's a git repository i can look at different git static statistics, like git status says that this is up to date. I just downloaded it. Uh, I can uh, use any git commands that you're interested in here as well. But for now, it's going to try to compile it. So there, there are a few steps to do this. Um, Radios has a starter and a engine. So I'm going to cd to starter. And in here, there's a build script. So I'm going to run the build script using this command line argument here. And it's going to press enter. And what's happening now is that this is automatically uh, compiling the source code for radios. And this will take a few minutes. So I'll be back after it's done. The compilation now is finished. So we have created the starter executable. The next step is to go up a directory. In here, we have another uh, folder called engine. There it is. And then we cd to that, and there's another build script we're going to run here. So I'm going to just uh, copy this build script here, the same argument. I'm just going to press enter, and we'll take a few minutes to run this as, as well. I will be back in a few minutes. Okay, so the calibration has now finished, um, and we are, I think, done. We go up to the dire directory, and then we look in the exec folder and see there is a starter and an engine executable. We're now ready to try this out. So I have a test case prepared. So I'm going to go up a directory. I'm going to go to test cases radios. And I'm going to look at the contents of this input file. So vi am store rad. Here are the files. I have um, the material mold I want to use is material mold 8 here. It's a Bergstrom Boys material mold. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. There's my part definition. And uh, I'm going to make this a material 8 here. And uh, I'm going to remove the user material definitions here because I'm not going to use the user material in this demonstration here. So like that. And uh, that's it. Now I'm going to try to run this file here for to clean up a little bit. I'm going to try to run it. I have a script file for that. Let's take a look at that. 
it's a little tricky to run this the first time. You need to set some variables. I create a, I export LD library path to point to this directory, which has external uh, shared library files that are needed. And I set this environment variable red CFG path to set some other variables uh, related to text strings, I believe. And then I run the starter and then I run the engine. So we'll see if this works here. So I'm going to run this command. And it seems like it's starting to run. And this is how it looks like when Radio's engine is running. It saves uh, output at specified locations that I gave. Here is the number of seconds it has been running, 12 seconds. And this is how many seconds it thinks is left. So about two minutes to run this test case. So let's wait two minutes, and I'll be back. And that's it. This is, looks um, like it finished just fine. It looks exactly what happens when you run this with a commercial version of radios that they used to use in the past. Now open radios is available. If you like in a, a free a commercial quality explicit finite element solver, you should check this out. The source code is available. It's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot more one can talk about here. How do you look at the results? How do you set up the file? All of that I will cover in other videos, but this is all I wanted to show here today, how you download the software, how you compile it, and how you can run a simple test case. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask them below.